Ready? Yeah. Yep. Go That's ahead. It. Lieutenant Colonel Matt Carper, Deputy Director and Assistant Chief of Police. Uh, what do we have here, starting with the, the first scene? Uh, today at about 12.08, we received two shot spotter alerts on a shooting that occurred near uh, the intersection of Catalpa and Yale, where a 17-year-old was shot two times. Uh, witnesses informed detectives who uh, arrived on scene that the suspects fled to uh, an address on Lexington. Uh, detectives arrived to uh, this block of Lexington and saw four subjects on the porch uh, of the uh, uh, address that you have. Uh, one matched the description of the uh, shooting suspect that occurred earlier. At 1.46 p.m., the uh, detectives uh, contacted the subjects on the porch. One of the subjects produced a firearm, a handgun. Uh, detectives gave them multiple orders to drop the firearm, uh, at which time the subject did not comply, and the detectives fired multiple rounds and hit the subject uh, in the both legs. Uh, subject is, is uh, currently in uh, non-life-threatening uh, condition at a local hospital. Uh, there were three firearms total that were uh, recovered on the, on the front porch of this uh, address in, on Lexington. Uh, due to the um, uh, Violent Crimes Bureau detectives being on scene and involved, we've asked the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office to conduct the criminal investigation, and uh, our Professional Standards Bureau will conduct the administrative investigation. How many officers fired? Two. And did both officers hit the, the one person? Yeah, it's still early in the investigation, so we'll give you, we'll give you much more information tomorrow uh, as it becomes available. Um, it's still you know, very early in the investigation, so I don't want to misinform you. Was this the subject that was hit, the, the person that was hit with the gunfire, that, that was a man, did you say? Yes. Okay, was that person, the su did that end up being the, the suspect in the initial incident earlier this there, there were several people involved in the initial incident, and uh, so we're still sorting out uh, uh, what everyone's role was in that initial incident. With the okay. understanding this is still an ongoing investigation, probable charges for the individuals involved? Yeah, we're, we're, still, uh, we're still looking at that, and that'll be up to uh, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office uh, to develop in their criminal investigation and present to the Montgomery County Prosecutor's Office. Any what, current threat? Are there two other males detained? A any current threat? Is there any uh, unknown suspects or anybody you're still pursuing? No, the, uh, the, the public is, is safe right now. Everything has been resolved. Was anyone else arrested at that, that house here other than the person that was hit? That's still uh, also early in the investigation. So uh, we're conducting a lot of interviews and uh, uh, all potential witnesses witnesses to the initial uh, incident that happened several blocks away, as well as this incident will be interviewed. So the 17-year-old, is there any motive why one of these guys would shoot the 17-year-old? We don't have that information yet, it's still early. How is the 17-year-old doing? That's going to be life-threatening uh, condition um, in, the, in the shooting that did not involve the officers. For, and apologies if you hit this already, but was there a crash involved in the midst of all of this, like a block away here? I don't have that information. Okay. Were these all uh, all male, uh, these were all male adults, right, that were, that were on the porch? I, I can't give you the demographics of everyone on the porch. There were four people on the porch, and, um, and at least one matched the description of the actual shooter from the initial incident. Any juveniles on the porch? I don't have the ages. And it was just the one person arrested? At this time, one one person uh, raised a gun at the police officers and and uh, and was shot uh, several times in both legs. Sir, can you give us a? I, I hate to ask you this, but can you give us a recap of the scenario that just went down again? It, it all started on uh, Catalpa in Euclid, correct? Yes, uh, at 12:08, there were two shot spotter alerts that came out uh, regarding a shooting at Catalpa and Yale. Detectives arrived and began to investigate. Witnesses gave them information that the subjects had moved to a location on Lexington. Will the, will the, the officers that fired this, they'll be placed on administrative leave? Or? Yeah, that's standard for us. Administrative leave uh, gives um, uh, the, the police department uh, an opportunity to review, um, as well as uh, gives the officers uh, time for a debrief. What's, what's body cameras working properly? At the we're time? we're uh, we're looking at that. These are detectives, so uh, uh, any body worn camera that uh, that um, was activated will certainly be available very soon. But the detectives themselves may not have been wearing. We're body. looking into uh, who had body cameras and and yeah. Uh, are these 
these guys on the porch familiar with the the, the, the Dayton police? I don't have that information right now. Good. Everybody. Thank cool. you, Karen. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it.